Hi Sagittarius! How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. Uh, if you guys have been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. Um, if this is your first time, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. I promise you guys are going to want to come back for more. Um, this is a general reading, you guys. Uh, so parts of it are going to hit, parts of it might not. It's okay. Just take what's for you and leave the rest. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing amazing at this time. Um, so I have to explain real quick, you know, um, for those of you who are new, I am um, a psychic medium and I get a lot of channel messages. I read energy before cards, all that stuff. But I heard um, that many of you guys are having... Um, a really hard time releasing the past okay um this is kind of collectively but specifically this message came through for you guys R releasing the past in many ways and forgiving yourself forgiving others who have wronged you um it's about holding on to stuff okay to things that are they just it's energy that doesn't serve you and so that was a very clear message for you guys um if that resonated with you at all, hit the like button. Let me know how it uh, how it resonated. But also, I heard this song. Um, it's like an older country song. It's that, I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Dun, dun. Okay, so I feel that, Sagittarius, that this is like you guys, um, kind of your energy to the world and to specifically maybe someone in love where it's like, you know, I never promised any of you anything and I'm just doing the best I can right now and y'all need to back up or if it's in love I feel like it's this energy of um you know I can't do this this and this and be this for you um and for some of you guys this could be the energy of your person that I'm picking up on where they're like hey I never promised you a rose garden and it hurt you it hurt you and it let you down, okay? That could be a part of some of the the message of letting go and holding on to the past. So let's see, guys. Let's get into the cards. Today is September 21st, 2021, but this video is timeless. Whenever you stumble across it on your journey in life is when you're meant to find it. Okay, so we got mental conflict. Yep. This is like mental entrapment you know, being indecisive on things, having a lot of go, look at that, the devil. I, okay. Let me get all these out. I guess this is in your head energy stuck in your head. Stand your ground. This is exactly what I was just talking about that. I never promised you a rose garden and you guys creating boundaries and things of that nature. And you, you having to stand your ground. Okay. Um, and then hope this is like the star card energy. So this is manifestations, but this is, um, you guys not losing hope. Sorry, my sage. Go on, Key. No, no, no. Go on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Come here. Come here. Look. Come here. Look. Come here. <laughs> um, Anyways, this is you guys not losing hope, okay, in, in situations here. A lot of you guys are battling, um, you know, it could be addictions. You could just be releasing a lot of things. But I feel like that, like I said, a lot of you guys are really stuck. And it's like going on a, on a loop-de-loop -loop of the past. And, um, and things are really coming up that, like, you haven't thought of for a long time. And it's really got you in this mental, like, headspace where you're like, oh, my gosh, like, what is happening? Um, but also, standing your ground, okay, um this is boundaries. This is putting up boundaries with people. Okay. Um, you guys are manifesting beautiful things here with the star card, wish fulfillments, things kind of trying to come through to come true for you. Okay. Um, conflict and defeat on the bottom. This is about releasing conflicts. Like I said, protecting your energy, uh, setting boundaries with people. This is also, you know, about humility. And if you've been defeated in certain cases in life, it's about owning it and just saying, Hey, like, yeah, that didn't go in my favor. It is what it is. It just wasn't meant. That wasn't meant for me. Accepting defeat. It's okay. Right. Um, okay. So for Sagittarius, I'm going to get a couple 
So getting out of your head, really tapping into, you know, your faith at this time, whatever that means, you know, whatever that is for you. Just wish fulfillment's coming through. For Sagittarius this week, Ooh. <laughs> fireworks, look at that. Doesn't that look like a firework too? Passion ignited. That's what I just heard. So this is fireworks. It's chemistry, lust, happiness, excitement, holiday, celebration, kissing, exhilaration, explosive, hot sex. Wow. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, this is the, um, the manifestation. This is the wish fulfillment. This is someone that's coming in. Okay. To have all this. <laughs> what else for Sagittarius? <laughs> Okay, this kitty's being crazy right now. Temperance, healing, balance. It's alchemy. Wow. Sag, I feel like I feel like there's someone here, like I, I'm hearing in the background. So someone that like maybe you haven't really been talking to, or I don't know. Um maybe you guys have been like on the outs in the in the recent past, but um I feel this person is manifesting this with you. They want to alchemize something here. It says within 14 to 30 days. So in the next two weeks to a month. Traveler. Adventuresome. Um, I'm hearing that country song right now. If you're going to break my heart, then break it. And if you're going to take your shot, then take it take it so i feel this is someone sag that is really wanting to take a shot with you and they're hopeful here that it's gonna be chemistry and it's gonna spark something up and it's gonna bring this happiness someone wants to alchemize with you you guys could live at a physical distance someone's feeling really optimistic here yeah look mother guy this is like empress energy it's the birth of a new cycle fertility Someone is feeling ready. It's like it's time. Balance. Yeah, look, it's time. See? Right as I said that, Jupiter. All right, so there's definitely a love connection here. Um, now I'm hearing, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. So it feels like something's, uh, this manifestation that's coming is about to be revealed to you. And then right as I say that, the yes card. The yes card. It's the start of a season. It's time. Jupiter. Expansion. It's like the wheel of fortune. Destiny. Destiny is coming in. It's this wish fulfillment. The star card is also, it's alignment with destiny. The star is aligned. Written in the stars. This is definitely, um, <laughs> you're going to be a little stinker, aren't you? The whole time. Come here, baby. Lay down. Good boy. Okay. Um, but this is the start of a season here. You guys, this is the start of a, some kind of cycle in love or something. Uh-huh. Death card. It's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. Divine feminine. Wow. Okay. So for a lot of you Sagittarius in the recent past, you stood your ground with this person. You stood your ground with this person. Okay. And this is their energy and they're a little obsessive over this connection, but it's only because they, how much they care. The energy behind the fireworks here is very intense. And so is the hope card. It's like the star energy. It's like this person can't wait to tell you how they feel. Death card. This is um, like lower chakra energy. Um, this again, a lot of sexual chemistry here. Um, but this is someone who's gone really deep. They, 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 they feel a deep connection here with you. The beaver. Someone who, it's new things on the horizon. Someone who's determined. Making dreams real. You guys have all kinds of stuff here about dreams coming true. <laughs> Sorry. Can you guys see my cat like cleaning his feet with no shame or his paws? You guys, I'm just gonna look at this. Um, excuse you. <laughs> I'm trying to do a reading here. That's so funny, you guys. My little sagey babe. Element of earth. You could be dealing with some kind of earth sign. Practical, grounded, solid, dutiful, measured, methodical, duty-bound, dependable. Builders and makers. Movers and shakers. That's what I just heard. So um, this is about... 
it feels like something got stuck like energetically between you and someone like the energy got stuck i'm not getting rooted and grounded like normal energy like and I, you guys i read energy not cards so i'm feeling like what this person is trying to do what they're wanting to achieve and what they're hopeful of here is that they can that there's like I'm, I'm hearing epiphany they know it's time they know what they want clarify the element of earth yeah see it's obstacles the elephants this person could be you know have a very large energy large heart um very you know they could be a very large person very masculine muscular um but this is someone where it, lucid dreams you guys are really definitely dreaming of each other this person dreams of you for sure um, this person looks at you as someone very powerful, but this is, uh, obstacles being removed here. And that's what I feel was like these energetic blockages that are being lifted here that are keeping this, um, like earth stuck in like a non, like not a great way. Right. It's something trying to be pushed through here. Um, the church just flew out principles, religion, dogma, family, it's marriage. Yeah. It's like, this could be the one collective consciousness someone's going through awakening here ascension yep definitely awakening and ascension it flew out right on top of jupiter which is expansion <laughs> literally um the empress this is raising the vibration this is ascension this is the divine feminine who's raised her vibration so it's taurus venus libra energy this is um, someone, this is a magnetic draw. There's someone that it's a magnetism. I, that obsession I felt earlier, it's like they're just drawn to you. You make them happy. This is abundance. It's the birth of new cycles. You have the birth of new cycles twice here. Four and three breaks down to seven. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. That's luck. Seven is Jupiter expansion. Okay. This week, a lot of you guys, there's new cycles that are being birthed for you. Um, some here in love. Whoa, the destiny card, the cross. This is fate. This is overcoming and healing, um, and raising your vibration after a lot of emotional loss and sorrow, Sagittarius. And this is what I was talking about, getting out of your head and overcoming that. Know that spirit has your back. Your loved ones on the other side are with you. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to knock the table around sorry that you know me doing that right now is symbolic of like you guys being knocked around in your head constantly over things from the past it's like all is forgiven all is right all is as it should be the archer careful aim on target this is something happening quick it says matchmaker you could be literally like you could have been set up with this person or you could be being set up with someone this week and it's a faded it's a faded turn of events yeah i was like i saw something flip it was the light bulb i said it's a faded turn of events and then the light bulb comes out it says aha moment a breakthrough something being revealed a realization enlightenment epiphany illumination you guys are getting a lot of um you guys are closing out a lot of karmic cycles here this, this week in this full moon right now that we're in with Pisces. It's helping to just drudge up so much toxic stuff like this that keeps us in a like really negative headspace. And that's what this, it's, it's bringing it up so we can clear it away, right? So you guys are having a lot of breakthroughs um, with karma, energetically, spiritually. Um, you guys are going to start feeling enlightened this week. You're going to feel lighter and better, okay? Um... But there is someone, there's something here with love. There's something being birthed here with the fireworks. Tell me. Yep. There's the bird. Someone is ready to communicate. It's chatty. There's going to be a lot of communication coming in between you and this individual. Text or call someone. They're going to be making contact. The lily. This is patience. I feel like Sagittarius, you've been patient with this, with this connection. But also you've been really patient with... All of this stuff that you have been feeling like was going to manifest into your life. You've raised your vibration. This is maturing. It's, it's all kinds of stuff. Ambition. You guys are really ambitious at this time. Development. You guys are developing, birthing so many beautiful things. But this is love. This is a kind-hearted love. A patient. Yeah, look. I was talking all about magnetism. There's this draw. 
You got the magnet, longing, desire, gravity, a je ne sais quoi, seduction, field of influence. The universe is making this happen here for many of you. It's like you deserve it. It's your, it's your time. Yeah. After a lot of endings, it's time for all these new beginnings. So rebirth too, with love for many of you. Yep. Right as I say rebirth, you got the empress. You have the empress twice. It's the birth of a new cycle. It's an abundant new cycle. A lot of um, abundant energy around you guys at this time. Yeah, you guys are going to have a lot of options. You know, um, be really careful, um, you know, again, with, with, your, with, with your boundaries and all that. Um, try not to be too guarded with people, right? And, and try to, um, try to not get, be up in your head too much and get confused on things this week. For many of you, this person that's coming in, they look at you like the empress. They know exactly what they want. Okay. Here with this rose all lit up, they know exactly what they want. And they're, they're, they're wanting to like stop here with you. They're wanting to birth a beautiful, uh, abundant new beginning here with you. Yeah. See, nine of cups. This is a wish fulfillment. I've been talking about wish fulfillment since the beginning with the hope card. It's fireworks. It's big. Boom. Bang. For many of you guys, this could be um, drinking. You guys are like, quit. you've quit drinking or you've been sober for nine months. Um, for those of you that that's four, congratulations. Four of wands, but this, for what it is, it's a wish fulfillment and then four of wands. This is a foundation, a partner, marriage, engagement. This is new beginnings. You guys could be seeing a lot of dragonflies, 11-11. Tell me about this person for Sagittarius. How do they feel towards Sagittarius? Strength. They're building strength to come in and to, to chat, to talk. Yeah, see, to open up. Queen of Cups. They're following their intuition on this. Okay. It's also the, a psychic connection. You guys have a telepathic kind of connection. What else? Tell me about this person, how they feel towards Sagittarius. The chariot, they're coming in to win. They want victory here. They're making moves. Tell me the overall energy coming in for Sagittarius this week. King of Swords. A lot of communication. You guys are feeling very wise this week, okay? And you guys are not afraid to cut things out that are not in alignment with, like, how you want to feel at this moment in time, okay? Um, oh. And tell me the final outcome here between Sagittarius and their person this week. Eight of Wands. There's that passionate communication and the sun on the bottom of the deck from the Divine Masculine. It comes in and makes you very happy. Could be a, another fire sign. Okay. A lot of passion behind that. I can feel the passion behind that. This person is like, wow. Yeah, see, look, Divine Feminine. It's the passion towards you. More than likely, you're the divine feminine watching this. You're the one who is open to the birth of this new cycle. You're in this empress kind of energy. I can't get you out of my head. Yeah, see this person. That's the energy I was feeling earlier, this obsessiveness. It's like, I can't stop thinking of you. I can't get you out of my head. I know I need to like reach out. <laughs> or I know I need to say something. There's communication coming in this week. You're the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that. Look at that. King of Wands. It could be another fire sign or just a lot of fire in the chart. But they're like dead set. They're dead set. They're dead set on you, Sagittarius. You're the one. You're the one. Solar plexus chakra. That's that sun energy. It's the life force power. Sagittarius, you guys are releasing a lot of stuff from the past and you're tapping more into your power, okay? healing. Um, I don't know what I want. Okay. For many of you, that was this person's energy in the past, but you might straight up tell this person that. I don't know. Some of you might, a, a few of you, heart chakra, Aries. 
Okay, Aries, this feels like emperor energy to me. We have the chariot here. The emperor drives the chariot, so I feel like this is your person ready to make a move. I mean, this this king of wands, his energy is like, oh my gosh, you guys, it's kind of like, it's, it's hot. It's sexy. It's real sexy. This person is fired up for you. All right, heart chakra, yep. There's been like a heart awakening here. I lied, wow. So this person may have lied to you in the past, okay? Maybe that's why you had to stand your ground with this person. I won't settle. Yeah, they know that you won't back down. Like, you're not going to settle. Um, I was scared, so I held back. Yeah, wow. And then the best sex I ever had. Yeah, I could feel the passion. I could feel it, you guys. I feel energy. There's a crazy connection between you and this person. I want to marry you. Yeah, see? Four of Wands and Leo. Strength again. Sun energy again. Someone is... You guys could be marrying this person this in Leo season next summer. Someone wants to marry you. I, I said that earlier. One week, bottom of the deck. I'm doing, I'm honing in on the weekly energy. So within this week, for a lot of you guys. Um, I'm just going to get a couple romance angels. For Sagittarius. What we got? 21 minutes. You deserve love. You are love. See, someone, they were shot by Cupid's arrow. Straight up. Straight up. Shot by Cupid's arrow. And by the way, this is like wands, 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 arrows, 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 flying everywhere. It's like love is in the air. Totally. This person is loving you. Oh my God. Yep. Because you're the one, you're the one. Oh my gosh. Your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Yep. I've been feeling that. All right. Love, your, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you stood your ground with this person and you're like, no, 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 I'm not gonna be breadcrumbed. I'm not gonna be ghosted. I'm not gonna be treated poorly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've, I've done, I've come way too far to be treated like this. So I'm gonna go my way. You can go your way. And then this person had some kind of like crazy awakening. But your self-respect, they were like, wow, this person is really special. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. This is like spirit, okay? Their spirit guides have been guiding them. I talked all about that earlier with your guides. Let go of control issues. Okay, this is you guys. For many of you guys, this person, this is all that's blocking this, okay? It's actually you blocking this because you're controlling the, you're trying to control the outcome. You're, you're, you're manifesting it like um in a, you know what I mean? Like in a fearful way. Like I, so anyways, it's allow the situation to unfold naturally, you guys. It's coming in. Because it can't be beat. See, this is like a twin flame. This is a soulmate twin flame. This energy right here in the chemistry card for me is always, with the soulmate card, it's always twin flame. See, heart to heart conversations. They were ready to open up now. And they want to spend a lot of alone time with you. And they're also in wedding gear. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It's all there. And then right after that is past life relationship. A soulmate, a past life love, twin flame, and very soon. We had one week. We had, um, was that other card? Seven to 14 days? Very soon. So, wow. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let me get a kipper for you guys. For Sagittarius for this week. Give me a kipper for Sagittarius. Please and thank you. Concern and pathway. Okay. So this week, you guys, for a lot of you guys, where there were areas of concern, deep things of concern, pathways are opening up. There's transformation taking place, okay? It's like you're being rewarded and gifted um, these manifestations, these beautiful things because of your hope and your faith here, okay? Also, your guides, oh, sorry, your guides have been guiding you to this pathway for a lot of you guys. And it's like these pathways are opening up and, and spirits coming through right at the end. And they're like, don't, don't, no need to be concerned. Also, it's card three, 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 three. That's ascended masters. Okay. Let's get one more for Sagittarius. The wealthy man. Wow. For a lot of you guys, this is your masculine. They're very wealthy. This is emperor energy for me. King of pentacles energy. Uh-huh. Wealthy. So number 13, 13 in the tarot is the death card. We had the death card earlier. This could be a rebirth with this person or you're meeting this person this week, okay? Um, 
So you guys, I hope that this resonated. Um, if it did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I am still taking personal readings at this time. So if you're interested and you want to hone in on your personal life, your personal situations, past life stuff, love, anything, um, just email me below. And yeah, all the pricings down below, all that. So um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, I'm sending you guys all love and light. And uh, until next time, see you soon. Bye, Sag.